We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Hi, this is Snow White, Mr. Crane's assistant. Hi, yes, I'm just calling to let you know that uh, Mr. Crane's schedule. Hey, Magic Mirror, I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work! <laughs> Still looking! Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Maybe it will brighten your shitty mood a little. Unlikely. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing. I only translate.
What's it say about that? It says Bricklebit in an older elvish hand. What's Bricklebit? A magic word. What's it do? It makes animals shit gold. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alairairo? I'll go look it up. Alairairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> Ah, it prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than... Her name we... was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Nothing would surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. We already know her name, but feel free to have a look if you like. his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Nice hat. Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Hmm. I think her name was Red. She didn't make it out. Red Riding Hood's knight in shabby armor. The Woodsman? Yep. And his axe. And there's me. On a good day. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Yeah, dwarves. The less said about that, the better. Very nice. <laughs> I was really hungry, too. <clears throat> Demolished. Nothing else here. Let's back out. Let's go talk to the mirror out. Oh wow. 
such graphic. Talk to the mirror about faith. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, Abel, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me... show me faith. Through powerful magic her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Man. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Man, oh man. Show me Faith's father, the old king. That crosses him off the suspect list. Uh, so, oops, that was only his hand. Nobody right now. <clears throat> Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I. He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Let's do it. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Hmm. Big B! Shit! Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Left or right, left or right, left or right. I really don't even know which way to go. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. I can check it on Prince Lawrence. Okay, I'm not looking friends. forward to breaking the news to him anyway. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah, it looks worse in the day. Is somebody up there?
wait here. Enough, all right? Just shut it! <laughs> what kind of asshole swings a lamp at a guy? Get that fixed. Woodsman never did much reading anyway. in there, okay? Yeah, I'll try. Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? All right? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. I'll leave when I'm ready, Toad. I just want to check things out first. The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? <laughs> uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Now this happened. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off a table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? Your lock's busted, too. This place is falling apart. Eh? Huh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. 
Christ's sake, a fucking log's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Pretty sure this guy's hiding in the house. Uh. the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. but like a shit ugly thing. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Pokes have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Yeah, it's pretty good. I enjoy it so far. It's pretty adult. <laughs> for the cell shading and everything how the game looks. I've really been meaning to clean the place. You There's more blood over be. here. Oh? Full of all the really? And everything. Yeah, still fresh. Well, like I told you, I cut me hand. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. If you're gonna say something, out with it. It's just a spot of blood. No need to stand there eyeballing me. Guess I missed that one. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not- and you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. You know what happened, no. I... There's marks here on the window, so... And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Probably really? chicken. Scared Junior off to death. Uh, the new uh, Shaken Stevens album yet? Okay, Sheriff. Now what? You don't have spares? Separate key under the mat or something? In this neighborhood? Are you off your rocker? If it ain't chained to me billfold, the mungy rats will take it away as soon as they catch a starlit twinkle. think they are. Uh-huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset, though, earlier. He won't say why. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out why. Place needs a bit of dusting, I suppose. 
I know something's off here, Toad. And I know you know I can't leave until I find out why. So can we please just skip to the end of the page before I have to get mean? I don't know what you want, Big B. There's nothing going on. There's just... There's just nothing to tell. Look around the room and see for yourself. Everything has its explanation, you'll see. Honestly, Toad, I don't know if I will. And I don't know if I've got the patience to reverse engineer whatever scheme this is. Me boy's in the other room, Big B. Come on now. We're friends, right? I mean, I called you here. Can't we just start over? here, too. What you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Oh, That's where maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? That broken lamp used to be here. Right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I did it. some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. Big B. Come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? You say to my face that you think I'm hiding something from you. Well, you've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? <clears throat> Stop getting nasty. This is all getting a bit stressful, all right? I have my limit for bullshit, Toad. And I think we reached it ten minutes ago. Now, Dad! you're gonna tell me what's going on here, or I'm gonna start... Dad! Bigby, is this really necessary? Hell yeah. Oh, he's hiding something. Either something he knows or something he's kept, but I won't play any more games with him. Dad! Oh my god. Take off your hat. Bigby, you didn't... He didn't. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dame D. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. What was he looking for? I don't have a fucking clue, Sheriff. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows hey. things from people who live here. <clears throat> uh, sometimes? Borrows. I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Jackass. Fine bit of dress it is. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. What is it? It's a 
an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Don't make it a Hell dilemma. Is. This can be my excuse for everything. I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. Being one Maybe of Lawrence girls. does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? <clears throat> I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Deuces, little frog leg. I'll be honest, Bigby, I don't really know how to feel about what happened in there. We got what we came for. Some, some information. You'll be all right. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. We're here to question Lawrence. Bump him up on the suspect list, and we'll cross him off entirely. Okay. What is it? I just... I just don't think he did it. In cases like these, isn't it usually the husband? For Mundy's, maybe. But this is different. Can you hear me? Don't just peep into someone's house. Check if he's home. Stay with me, Lawrence. Gonna no. be all right. No. Let me go. She. What is it that you're telling us? Bigby, water. Kitchen. this to you.
holding his head though. Faith was dead first. Do you still have that letter? Yes. It's only two words, but he died without seeing them. I'm sorry. All right, again, let's investigate. We need to figure out what happened here and find whoever did this. What is it? This gun wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. Or more. So that's the side of being a wolf. Smell. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. Uh -huh. What are they? Too. Prescription sleeping pills. you and I cannot endure knowing that I have this was for the best I'll see you again love your devoted Lawrence
Hopefully they're together now. About all we can hope for at this point. Secondhand paperbacks, old encyclopedias, dusty. No one's read these in a while. What's in the box? Oh, shit. I knew it. Stay here. No. Stop! Leave me alone! Inside here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. What were you doing back there? Had some questions for Larry. Didn't think it'd go how it did. A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. Bullshit. You're covered in blood. Look. I was just asking him about the girl, that's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions, too. It's a weird-looking individual. Uh, the fuck?! Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to- No, I'm D. He's dumb. <gasps> Looks like I was gonna get hit in the back of the head anyways. You almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. <laughs> a sucker punch. Guess though. we're out of options. D mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. Hey! 
Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby? Be honest with me. Who do you think... did this? I know it's still early, but... I just feel a step behind. We haven't talked to him yet, but, uh... Tell me. I don't think anything would surprise me at this point. I feel like Bluebeard has something to do with this. I had the same suspicion. I don't know how or why just yet, but if yeah, you're asking... This is his M.O. There's still a lot of questions. <clears throat> Find the woodsman, figure out what he knows, and go from there. Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. This is the only kind of approaches I make. Best kind. Thanks I for wish you. there was... Sorry. Uh, never mind. Wasn't important. Oh, uh, okay. Well, it's... It's nothing. I just... <laughs> Seeing all this today... There are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. Crane is the one to blame here. Not you. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. I'm more to blame than anyone. You'll fix it. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door, like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. You'll figure it out. You're better than I am with this political stuff. Well, that's not saying much. I trust you to make the right decision. I hope you're right. Yeah, maybe you should handle this one. Yeah, maybe I should. It's gonna be a big fight. Big B. I um, just be careful, please. Don't worry. This will be over soon. I hope so.
What do you want, Sheriff? I was in the neighborhood. Thought I'd pop in and say hello. Well, fucking hello. Now you can get the fuck out of here. Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just want to know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. Does he tell you when to close, too? Nope. And he doesn't tell me when to tell you to fuck off. Fair enough. Come on. Dick's Have you name. seen the woodsman around? I don't know who that is. Big guy, beard, flannel, kind of a shitbag. Hard to miss. Uh, you sure you don't know him? Good talk, Bigby. Let's just be able to hit him. Mm. Uh. Let me solve the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. Oh, I know what they are. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. is that? Someone who left. Someone like the guy I'm looking for? No, I'm telling you. I haven't seen him for a couple days. Weeks, days. Okay. A lot of these walk out the door? Yeah, it's called advertising. Get a refund? Fuck you. A word's getting out. And here's where it should get off. A lot of stools in this place. You got a problem, friend? I don't like you. And now you're sitting right next to me. You could ask me to move. You gonna order something, or are you just here to bother my customers? You know what I mean. Give me a Midas gold. You want a lime? No. Well, I don't got any anyway. <laughs> what a nice lady. Think that's funny? Yep. I think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. This is fun. This back and forth. We should really do it more often. But, uh, I'm starting to lose my patience. Paper towels in the <laughs> number one or number two? For your sake, uh, I hope it was two. Otherwise, you're probably shitting your pants right now. You and me 
we've been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. Oh. You can always come quietly. I'm not sure you knew that was an option before. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. Last fellow put his hand on me, ended up with an axe in his head. Last fella I put my hand on, ended up in the ground. Okay, Grin. It's funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well, everyone knows you, big bad wolf. <laughs> well, I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Not exactly comfortable with it either, but hey, you play the hand you're dealt. Well, some folks are forced to play with shit. That's a lovely image. <laughs> Guess you want to know about the girl. Amongst other things, sure. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. She wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I wasn't there to save her. What are you talking about exactly? Red oh, Riding Hood. Her grandmother. I was there to rob him. But when I showed up, you were already there. Lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit. Except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played along as long as I could. I'm dragging you back to the woodland. For what? Jesus, Bigby, that fucking hurt. Wasting my fucking time. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. When they come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? You're backing the wrong guy. If you saw what I saw last night, you'd know that. What I see is someone who wouldn't be here if I was the one needing the law for some help. Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. Is right. that all you got? Seem to be enough. Don't be so sure. Oh, good. Should have walked out of here when you had the chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me.
that enough? You were gonna pay for it anyway. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? Hey, he started it. I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. What's up, buddy? Fuck. How you doing? You wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. Shit. I'll catch him later. Guy's covered in blood and you let him go? No one asked you. Ah! Come on. You're under arrest. I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. Anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. All right. That's pretty angry. We had something very special. Who else is involved? The girl with the coat. Serial killer. Oh, oh my. A serial killer? Oh god, it's one of us. Wait, 
The big fat guy's still out in the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. Oh, shut up, big nose. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks. What did you do? Uh, friend on friend. At the end of the end. Jesus Christ, baby. Is that you? <laughs> oh man. That's pretty cool. Um, if you're still here, there's actually going to be five chapters total. Uh, they've only released one and two so far, I believe. So, yeah. hopefully they uh, get it going. Pretty interesting. Should be fun. It's time to update.